Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm here for an album review and I will be reviewing the new album from metalcore band Like Malls to Flames and the album is titled No Eternity in Gold. This was their first album since 2017 and this is their first album on the record label UNFD. I believe that's the name of the record label so be sure to let me know down in the comments if I'm wrong but I believe that is the name of that record label but yeah other than that dude let's go ahead and get started okay so the first track I want to talk about in this review is the closing track spiritual eclipse this is the song where you get some lyrics within the song no eternity in gold so that's where the band got the name of this album from a line in the closing track spiritual eclipse so yeah that's pretty cool when i found that out from apple music i was pretty stoked because i was wondering where they got the name of this album from so yeah it's from the song spiritual eclipse so yeah that's really awesome so yeah this is a great closing track i really digged it so yeah great way to end off this album that's definitely an a plus and positive for me so the song i would give a four out of five rating great closing track works really great as a closing track really like that okay the next song in the review i want to talk about is the song y-o-t-m this is maybe my favorite out of the singles since we got like four singles from this album this may be my favorite out of the singles i'm not really sure but the thing i really really did like about this song is the guitar chugging you got really heavy shit there really dig that and of course the breakdowns you get within the guitars as well and of course the unclean vocals from chris he done really great on the single so yeah i really dig this single because like i said it might be my favorite out of the singles but that's kind of hard to choose because all the singles were good but this is definitely one of my favorites out of the singles though if it isn't my favorite out of the single but yeah Y-O-T-M, great song, don't know what that stands for, but either way, it doesn't really matter, because the song is heavy as fuck, and I really dig that about this song. So yeah, this song, I'd give 4.5 out of 5, really. great song, I really dig this one. Okay, the next song on the album I want to talk about is Demon of My Own, track 9 on the album. And with the song, it mainly includes only singing vocals from their lead vocalist, Chris. But either way, I still really like that about the song. You do get some screams near the end of the song. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But mainly only singing on this track. But it's still a good song, despite it mainly only including clean vocals from Chris. But either way, the song is really good. So this one, I'd give about a 3 or a 3.5 out of 5 rating. But either way, that's still a decent score for the song. So yeah, Demon of My Own works really good with the clean vocals. So yeah, I really like that about this song. Okay, so the last song I want to talk about in this review, of course, would be the opening track, The Anatomy of Evil. And yeah, the song is only like three minutes in length, so it's one of the shorter songs on here. But it still really works really, really well as an opening track so with this album of course you got a great closing track and then you have a great opening track so yeah that's definitely positive for me when it comes to this album because when it comes to albums i definitely like to have a great or solid opening track and then on the other hand you have a great closing track so yeah it's definitely positive for this album so yeah the anatomy of evil despite it being a shorter track still really works really really well to begin this amazing album so yeah with that being said i'll give the anatomy of evil a 3.5 out of 5 great album opener for sure i really like it so yeah guys with this album no eternity in gold this was a great return for the spain because their 2017 album dark divine when i listened to it in full a couple times i noticed that there wasn't really any screams on that album just mainly clean vocals but yeah this new album is definitely a great return for the spain when it comes to their heavier side so yeah that's definitely another 
great thing about this album that they finally returned back to their heavier side after a album where they barely had any unclean vocals but yeah even that album was still good i'm just saying i'm glad that they returned back to their heavier stuff because when most bands go toward the lighter direction they stay that way for the rest of their career but yeah luckily with this band we got heavier stuff again so that's amazing so yeah this new album from like Miles of flame no eternity and gold is fucking amazing i'm definitely gonna jam to this album more and more when I get the time to. So yeah, this album is fucking amazing. Definitely one of my favorite albums from these guys and I'll definitely be able to pick it up on CD eventually. So yeah, this album, I'd give a 8.5 out of 10 rating. Fucking love it, it's so fucking awesome. So yeah guys, let me know what y'all think of this new album from like Moss of Flames, No Eternity in Gold. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching this album review. I gladly appreciate it, but, that we, but with that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Stay metal, rock on, and yeah, peace.